Last week, I was made aware of a project called Verbal Gardening, run by a man called The Farmer and assisted by a mystery group of rare men, ten journalists, teachers and performers who have been called upon to inseminate the English language with seeds. By the 20th of October 2008, their challenge is to plant at least one new word into English and without anyone realising it was them. At the moment, they have ten seeds on the go including bolo for not very good, honk for cash, paddles for hands, and the urban myth that it's impossible to balance a shoe on a shoe. So I met up with them to find out a little more about their project. To protect their identities, we blurred their faces. To protect my identity from them, I blacked my face up. <laughs> the idea was to pick ten different jobs who got the biggest uh, reach, and that's the ten of them there. So they can get out into the field. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. This is Mr. Elephant and this is Mr. Palatino. So they've all got code. They don't know who each other... They've never... They don't know who each other is. Uh, the ten guys, it's better if there's kind of a secrecy about it. So how did, how did you feel when you first set up this, uh, this thing? Really? Excited. Yeah. It was quite an exciting project. That, probably that initial excitement's waned a little bit. So what do you think you can do to improve things then? I think just... Um, do some stuff which breaks the law. Yeah, well I decided, I made a conscious decision not to cross that line. I like flirting with that line and not crossing it. But I think maybe it would be, um, you'd have some more, um, you'd have some better uh, results and, and um, anecdotes if you spent some time in um, prison. And have any of your words been featured in newspapers or magazines yet? These are examples of where we've left, where we've planted seeds. For example, this is at the World Cup. These are cuttings from newspapers which have featured it. An article about Blunt, which talks about people spending their honk on these records, and it got published in the Times. Wow. So did this. And we've got about 500,000 copies of a magazine called Itchy, which is also features the word honk. So this has been distributed. That's gone to pretty much every big city in the country. Well, guys, thank you very much for coming in. And uh, I, for one, am going to be doing my utmost to spread some of these words around. Thank you. I don't like extreme sports because they attract people who love showing off and spending a huge amount of money. But I am very much drawn to extreme hammock, the antidote to our modern day obsession with speed and competition. This is where a man with a blurry face goes around Toronto erecting his hammock in treacherous places and then settles down to rest and enjoy the view. That's, <clears throat> that's effectively it. But what's missing from extreme hammock is a bit of human interaction. And far more adventurous than just lazing around looking at the view is getting people to sleep with you. I mean, just, you know, getting someone to sleep next to you, effectively. Anyway, this new sport of mine, I have labeled extreme bed, and we're gonna give it a go now. Um, can I stop you a sec? No, sorry, I'm Okay, anyone fancy asleep? Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> would you like to just lie? No. Thank you. no. Oh, okay. Uh, would you? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a. Uh, oh, that's disappointing. Sorry. It would have been Lots lovely to sleep with you. With you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you like, properly lie down, and then we just sort of like. Oh, that's lovely. It's called This Is A Knife, and it's, uh, it's coming out tomorrow, so you'll be on the website. Right, I'll have a look. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. Okay. But how, I mean, if you want to remain here all day, then that's no, fine by me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> uh, you can go now. Well, thanks very much for this. Right. Take me home, please. Ah. I'll tell you one thing to file under good ideas, and it's these little USB batteries that recharge themselves whenever you plug them into any USB socket.
But even better, although I'm not sure how many of these have actually been sold, is the business bib. A sort of half suit that you can put onto your shoulders in just five seconds and video call, perhaps it's just in your underwear. Anyway, I've got Brad, the maker, on the phone now. And if you just put it on for us as well, just, uh, sure. just, uh, just to see that five seconds thing. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's really great. Do you, do you ever feel a sense of satisfaction that the person on the other end has no idea? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, very, I'm very proud of this. Thanks a lot for having me on This Is Nice. I mean, that's really great. It's no, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a real pleasure. And uh, we're making the sh Oh, bloody hell, that was... Uh, so, um, yeah, thanks a lot for having me on This Is Nice. I mean, that's really great. It's no, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a real pleasure. And uh, we're making the sh Oh, bloody hell, that was... Uh, <laughs>